Xtool S1 is enclosed diode laser cutter. This is the basic kit version, which comes with 40 watt laser module, smart air assist, honeycomb panel and materials kit. S1 is well built machine, it has eye friendly lead which filters blue and IR lasers so you don't need to wear goggles. The working area is 498 by 390 mm which is quite big. The max height of the object you can process is 42 mm without honeycomb panel. With honeycomb panel it's much less, only 50 mm, but if you want more you can buy razor base which increases max height to the 125 mm. There are also more add-ons you can buy from this machine like IR laser module, rotary engraving module, fire safety set and smoke purifier. Engraving and cutting makes quite a lot of smoke which fills your room. With S1 that's not a problem. S1 is fully enclosed machine which has fan on the back and you can add ventilation tube to direct smoke and dust out of from your room. In my case, through the window. Basic kit has smart air assist included. It helps to cut thicker materials and leaves cleaner cuts. You can use it manually or use it on auto mode as I did. It sits on the rubber feet which removes all air compression vibrations and it makes low noise. When laser is on, you almost can't hear it working. For the safety, it has skill switch outside the machine and fire sensor inside. Switch position could be a little closer to the front. I also tied the switch and it worked as it should. It got all the power. There are also more safety features. If you open the lid, middle of the process, it pulls. Inside the machine is two lights, which light up the working area nicely. You can use S1 with your phone, tablet or computer. There are two connection options, USB and Wi-Fi. I use my computer and USB because I don't have Wi-Fi connection inside my workroom. I had connection problem at first. I did not I did not a long time reset to my notebook and it was missing some drivers. After I got it working, I didn't have any connection problems. The software you can use are XCS, X2 Creative Space or Lightburn. It's recommended to use XES and it's also free. I used XES version 178 and it's very easy to use. There are some things missing, you can see how much time engraving or cutting will take. Also, when laser is working, you can see how much time is left. You can see how much time is used. I used the old version, new 2.0 as these things and there are even more new things available. This one has autofocus, which I like very much. It uses probe to measure distance. It's very easy to use. If you want to, you can also focus manually. This autofocus system gives you the option to engrave on curved objects. Next thing that I really like is the marking system. You can change between four modes. So. If I choose rectangle mode, I need to move the red laser cross to the up left corner and hit button on the laser. Then move to the bottom right corner and hit the button again and marking is done. You will get the border line which makes aligning easy. S1 is quite fast up to 600 mm per second. I try to engrave and cut different materials with different thicknesses. 40 watts and air resist sounds like a good combo for cutting and it's good combo. It cut with no problems 12mm USB, 50mm plywood which is meant for building materials. It's harder to cut. 50mm is the max height you can cut with honeycomb plate. 13mm wood plate. I don't know what the wood is it but it cut it nicely. Thinner materials like 3mm and 6mm plywood, 3mm MDF plate and 3mm black acrylic cut like butter. I also tried engraving different materials. Most of them came out good except glass engraving. The glass engraving failed because I didn't know the right settings and I didn't have enough knowledge to do it right. If you don't know what settings to choose for an engraving and cutting, you can get some settings from Xtool site. So let's take a look what I have made. 50mm plywood cut and engraved. 
This power rail will also can engrave cardboard, 16mm per second speed and 10% power, I think came out very good. It can engrave coated metal, the wish on the left is not engraved with S1. 3mm acrylic part was cut easily, it should handle even 10mm but I didn't have it to test it out. The edges look good, 3mm MDF part engraved and cut, 6mm plywood engraved and also cut, 3mm MDF. This is a leather which is meant for engraving. Engraving surface will go from brown to gold color. It's also laser cut. You can also engrave directly to stainless steel and it can engrave images with colors. Different tones are engraved with different power. The temp differences change metal color. Nice dark color engraving on plywood. Engraved with 600mm per second and it came out really good. Xtool S1 is a powerful machine and you can do many different types of laser cutting and engraving. There are more ways to use it than I showed. I like S1 because it's very easy to use and you don't need to deal with the smoke inside your workroom. It's not a cheap but you get professional machine which suits for home use or for your business. I had a very good experience with S1, it's definitely a good machine to have. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, comment below and as always, thanks for watching.